Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new handbag we have, which I'm very excited to be filming today with you guys. And uh, as you can see, today we're going to be working on this beautiful Burberry wallet that I got from the thrift store at an amazing deal. But as you can see right here, there is a lot of color transfer or dirt or something that is on the wallet. So... We're going to be trying to clean that up. The inside of the wallet, though, is in fantastic condition. Just needs a little bit of a conditioning, I think, and then it'll be good to go. But, like, look at that interior. It's beautiful. Made in Italy. The zipper is in great working order, and it's very, very clean inside. It still came with the original tags as well, as you can see inside of there. So, very excited to be working on this wallet today. But first of all, quick disclaimer, I am not a professional handbag rehab or anything like that. These are just tips and tricks I learned along the way. But I feel like a lot of them are really great and work really, really well. And I love these products so, so much. All the products I'm going to be using are going to be linked down below in the description box. You guys can go check them out if you guys are interested. But uh, without further ado, let's head into this. So this is something that happens a lot to coated canvas. Louis Vuitton, Burberry, Goyard, anything like that. Coated canvas still can't get dirty even though it is very durable and a really great material to use for handbags and wallets. But today we're going to be using some products that I really like and feel like do a lot of good for handbags and wallets. And the first thing we're going to be using is the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion. We're just going to be using this all around to just lift any superficial dirt and to also condition the wallet. Contrary to popular belief, like you still do have to condition coated canvas even though it is a very robust material. And of course, you always want to condition leather, and since we're going to be cleaning this, and some of the cleaning solution might get on the leather, it might dry it out a little bit. You want to add in that conditioner and moisture before any of that. So, we're going to be using this, and I'm going to be using a microfiber cloth that I have right here. And we're just going to apply the leather lotion to the cloth. You can also apply just directly onto there as, um, also if you want, but we're going to see if this uh, will clean any of the marks on here as well, because this is also a cleanser, so we can see if it cleans up anything and I don't know how much of this we're gonna be actually able to clean off because sometimes color transfer is permanent unfortunately especially the longer it sits on an item especially with coated canvas it does have a tendency to really stick in there and really hold stay steadfast in the yeah, a lot of that is not... Some of it is getting a little bit lighter, but a lot of those marks are still definitely in there, as you can see. What Coated Canvas likes to do is... Coated Canvas is, like, underneath its fabric, and then it has a polyurethane plastic coating on top. And that layer, it really likes to hold on to dyes that may get transferred onto it. And it sucks it in deeper into the plastic coating. So the longer it sits, the deeper it goes in, and the more difficult it is to get out. Sometimes if it just happens really quickly, you can you catch it in time, you can remove it still. But, so, like, once it sits in there, it is very hard to get out. So we will see, though, how much of this we can get out we're gonna be doing a bunch of different things I'm gonna take you uh, through the steps that I go through in uh, and I'm, we're gonna go in order of least damaging to like most damaging because cleaning products are cleaning products and they have chemicals and those things can still damage your bag oh this is actually cleaning very well right here do you see how much lighter these got I should have done just like one side of each thing actually let's just focus on the right side it actually cleaned it a lot right now I don't know what that was that's actually really awesome sometimes all you need is conditioner you guys I do have to say anyway so we're just conditioning the whole wallet don't forget the edges and the corners this little guy, and then we're just gonna do the inside as well. And the inside is in such great shape, like we don't have to do anything to the inside of this wallet. It's really just the exterior. And that happens a lot too, like sometimes like bags or wallets will get stains and the owner doesn't want it anymore, and hopefully the thrift store will mark it down more because it's dirty, but then that's what you want because then you can get a good deal and clean it. Because a lot of thrift stores right now are getting savvy with the prices of their luxury items that uh, people donate and those things get like pretty pricey so yeah this is what we are left with so far 
Let me just try some more of this on here and see if we can get more of it off. We're just going to work on the one side though. So let's actually go to the back side of the wallet after we do this. And then we will um, work on that side first and then we'll compare it to the front and see how clean we can get it. But this leather conditioner is actually doing wonders on this bag because it's actually cleaning it or the wallet a lot. Like a lot of those dark marks are going away, right? Like it's doing a pretty fantastic job so far, I think. So let's hop onto the back. I have a new product that I want to use and it is this Angelus Blue, Blue Foam Cleaner. I've never used this before, but it's supposed to work really, really well and people really like it. So um, this is my first time using it, but it says to shake well and then apply it with a clean cloth or sponge. So we're going to be using just another side of our cloth right here. I'm just going to put some onto it just like this. And then we're going to use this to clean our wallet. So I'm just going to go in a nice circular motion just along the coated canvas. We might even just let it sit before we wipe it off so you can really get um, working on it. This is also kind of like a first impressions on this cleaner because like I said, I've never used it before. So I am pretty interested in seeing how well it works. It doesn't say to add it to like water or anything. So I'm just taking it out of the bottle and applying. Really hoping this is gonna clean off these marks. Mom actually has her eye on this wallet. She really likes it. So hopefully we can clean it off for her and then it'll be good to go. I also do have this little bristle brush right here and it says that I can also use this. So I might like apply some and then use the brush. And sometimes the brush is really good. Let's see if I can apply some into here. Just like pour it in. What's great about the brush is that you can really work your way into those nooks and crannies, especially because this is kind of like a texturized kind of, um, like the, it has like a texture to it, so it can get really into those nooks and crannies. And I'm just working on this one side, so I can show you like a side-by-side -side comparison of the two sides of the back of the wallet. We'll see how clean we can really get this guy. So, I'm actually going to let this sit on here for just a little bit. Oops, I got some Oh, there we go. It's finally starting to foam. Okay, that's exciting. Maybe it'll work better once it's foaming. And we're just going to work that in. Okay, I'm going to let it sit for just a second, and then I will get back with you guys. Alright you guys, we are back. Let's um, wipe off this and see if any more of it has come off. And it looks a little bit lighter. Some of that stuff has gone on to the other side, but um, still really not too much. Uh, I feel like the it still looks kind of the same from when we did the conditioner. So now I'm going to try another thing. I use um, the Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. I love this stuff a lot. This stuff also works really well. And this stuff, though, I buy it from, like, Walmart or Target. And it's actually cheaper uh, whenever, like, I see it on Amazon and stuff, but it's more expensive because you have to buy it in, like, a pack. And unless you're really going to be cleaning a lot of stuff all the time, like, I feel like you don't really need three or four of these. So you can just buy, <laughs> buy a bottle at your local store. But this stuff works better when you just kind of, like, let it sit onto it. So I like to brush it in first and leave like leave it right there on top but then I like to go back in with this one more time and I kind of just pat it down so it covers all the surface that I want it to and then I will let it sit 
for just like a minute or two and let it like kind of seep in and work its magic. So hopefully this will clean it up some more. So here's to cleaning. So I'll be back with you guys again in a few minutes. All right, you guys, it's been a little bit. So let us try and wipe this down some more. See if we got any more of this off. I'm hoping that more of it came off. Okay, this is what we got. How is it looking so far? Honestly, kind of still looks a little bit the same. I feel like a little bit more of this stuff was able to come off on that side. There's still, there's still stuff. Especially like right here in these like two areas. I've been cleaning this side. This side's still the same. This side I think actually has more. Um, so we've exhausted three options. Let us go to a fourth. All right, you guys. So I have some Q-tips right here. And then I also have, um, I have very little <laughs> nail polish remover left. You can use like anything that has uh, acetone in it to try to clean this as well or even like you can try some rubbing alcohol if you have that as well. So this is the third or fourth that we are going to try and use today on this wallet. So I don't want to go too crazy. I just want to kind of like do a little section and see if it will lift anything. Because if it doesn't, I don't really want to ruin the finish of this. So let's try like this area right here and see if anything lifts out. Alright you guys, here is the wall. I think this is um, pretty much as good as I'm going to be able to get this side. But it looks so much better compared to this side and how it was before. I'm going to like try to insert what it looked like for you guys. This is a pretty good comparison about how it looked. It was actually worse than this side. And I think like the front might actually be even worse than the back. So I'm just going to get to working some more on this. And hopefully we can get this, uh, this little wallet looking really, really good. Alright you guys, I wanted to show you how the wallet looks so far. I think it looks fantastic on here. I think it like looks so so good. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can put a side by side comparison. I'll put the other, I'll put like how it looked right here. And then how it looks now will be right here. This is how it is right now. So I will do that comparison so you guys can check that out. But I think it looks so, so good so far. I'm very, very pleased with how it's turned out. And so now we're going to work on the other side. The other side I feel like is so much dirtier too. <laughs> but now that we kind of like figured out how to do it and clean it up as much as we can, um, I think we're going to be pretty successful on this side, hopefully. And then we'll finish up this wallet. So, no, same technique.
Okay, guys, we are finished with the wall. I think it looks so much better than it did. Those marks are not as apparent as they were, though you still definitely can see like a shadow of them in certain angles. But if you just look at it, you can't really tell unless you like really look hard. And at certain angles, you can't even see it. So I think the wallet turned out beautifully. But I'm gonna use a finisher to reseal the coated canvas so that it's not as susceptible to like more stains or anything like that. But first, I just wanted to condition it one more time and to like kind of just like make sure that all that chemical stuff is gone I have already waited for it to dry and all that good stuff so hopefully all the chemicals have like gone away already the nail polish remover does dry very quickly so I just wanted to just add some moisture back into it first before we seal it but I think it looks so much better than it was I think it looks a gazillion times better again I'm going to insert the photos so you can see how it looked before and after and then to seal it um you can use any sealer really but I'm just gonna use I, I just have this on hand it's the Angelus acrylic finisher you use this on acrylic paint but you can use it on this as well just to add like a coating finishing on top I'm just gonna apply it with a paintbrush and then I'm going to use a heat gun to kind of like set it you guys we are all I feel like it looks so much better after we added the finisher on it. it gave it that original kind of shine that it had back because when you use any sort of like nail polish remover or acetone or anything like that on the coated canvas it does remove that factory finish which is where a lot of this stain was sitting in so it did dull it a little bit so by adding that acrylic finisher um, on top it does bring back like that luster and it looks beautiful. Uh, I think also that once we put the finisher, it kind of like camouflaged even more of the stains. So now you really cannot tell at all that there were stains to begin with. So it's beautiful. I think the wallet turned out amazing. It looks so, so good. I couldn't be happier with the results. The inside, like I said, it was already like new anyway, like it was in such great shape. Very little wear, it was the exterior that had a lot of that color transfer. And now, we have a brand new wallet. I'm so excited, and I hope you guys learned how a little bit of something about how I fixed up this wallet so that way if you have any coated canvas wallets or bags you'll be able to clean them and maybe fix them up as well especially if you guys get them at the thrift you know how much I love that so comment down below let me know what your thoughts are let me know what your tips and tricks are if you guys have any because I'd love to try them out as well a uh, comment down below too if you have tried any of these things that I showed you in this video and if you do post anything on Instagram please tag me it's Hadrian just like a spell here so I can show and share it with the rest of the thrift squad don't forget to check out today's vlog it's up at 11 the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m i love you guys so much i hope you guys had fun today because i sure did and i'll see you guys all in that next video all right bye